All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So this is a uh, out. I call these phones like this outs. These are the freebies that companies offer. This is my Pixel 6a, and it is absolutely one of the best devices that I've used in quite some time when it comes to value to consumer. Right now, as we're recording this video, it is skating around $299 with no trade-ins or anything like that, and then 100 bucks or so with a trade-in. You can find a ton of deals on this device right here, and I highly recommend that you do yourself uh, some justice and get it if you want a stock Android device. Now, Google did release the 7 and 7 Pro. If you were considering buying one of these and you just didn't want to spend that even a little extra money, because this device is $599 for Black Friday, it's going to be $499, I believe, 100 bucks off, and this one's going to be 150 bucks off of the 7 Pro. But if you still don't want to spend that kind of money, you do have the option to get the 6A. Now, this device, while it does use the older chip, I guess if you want to call it older, their first generation chip, it is still a, a new device from the previous generation 6 and 6 Pro. Now, this one right here has a 6.1 inch display, the Tensor chip. 8 gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage, the, the normal rundown, but it's stock Android and it is blazing fast, folks. A lot of thumbnails that you see me do on the channel are with Pixel devices, straight up. A lot of times I'll use a mirrorless camera or DSLR or whatever if I want a different, more detail or whatever. Uh, but in the end, almost all the thumbnails that you see that have like that portrait background or something of that nature, it is the Pixel 6a. So I call these phones like this the outs and also call them the little giants because some people would argue that this is not a flagship device. I just, I beg to differ that this is not a flagship device. It has the internals of Google's flagships. So how could it not be a, a, a flagship device? How could it not? I think that's just a wordplay that people like to use ultimately, but I still say that uh, when you want small, powerful devices, this is one of them. Now I do also still have, believe it or not, I still have the 5A, which I think is one of the best devices that they've ever released. And then I also still, believe it or not, I still have my 4A. Now the A lineup for Google has come a long way, man. They are definitely killing the game with their A line. To me, um, while the 6A is a great value to consumers and it brings you over to the new lineup, uh, the 5A and 4J, 4A are still great options, folks. Hands down, these are options that anyone can pick up and you're gonna get stellar performance on any of these devices. So when it comes to camera quality, it can do it. When it comes to software performance and everything like that, it can do it blazing fast. Um, and this, the six lineup, the six and six pro, they're the ones, they're the two that had a few issues uh, when it came to uh, daily use for a lot of people. Some people really had a bad run and I even had a bad run uh, with, with my six, uh, not the six pro so much uh, as much, but the six, whoa, I had some troubles with that fingerprint reader. It just wouldn't act right. And so now they bring the six a, they bring a little bit smaller screen, which I really like. It even has a smaller screen than this device right here. This one's a 6.3 inch display. The older design with the camera up top right there. The unibody design right here, the camera, again, camera top. This is taking you into that new era of devices that you could possibly get from Google. And I think it's going to be something that you genuinely enjoy. Hardware wise, again, I really like the 6A. I mean, it is just a win. I do have a skin on here from sophieguard.com. Be sure to hit sophieguard.com if you want to pick up the latest skin for yourself. But for me, I like to skin the devices close to what the color of the device is. And also these skins are for grip. I love, like, check it out. I have both of these skinned. Here is the uh, 7 Pro, have the skin on that one. And then a really nice uh, um, skin on the bar here for the um, Pixel 7. I had it all over, but I ripped it off one time by accident. Like this is their their flip-flop style and it's really sweet, man. That is just a nice thing. But skins to me offer a lot of grip and you can design your devices how you want to design them. And speaking of the seven, you can see the difference in size with the seven. It is not much bigger and it does cost more. 600 versus 450, but neither one of these are gonna stay at those prices. You're gonna be able to find these devices uh, definitely at lower cost. Again, we're going into to Black Friday, so 
Um, these sails that are, I need, I need to clean this up, don't I? I shouldn't have this sitting over here with all these fingerprints. I know I'm slipping, but we're going into all these sales, uh, and, uh, companies, even Google has already sent out the emails for their, their black Friday deals. It's just a thing. This is what we deal with when we have companies that release good products like this and they can afford to go ahead and discount them right away uh, so to, to, to get you to come in and get you over to the ecosystem. They can do it, folks. And I, I tell you, no lies. Any of these devices right here, you are going to be happy with them. I am told I'm not biased to Google at all because I'm a part of Team Pixel. If you have a Pixel, you too are a part of Team Pixel. But I just feel like with Google, these Android devices right here, the 6A in particular, being the new kid on the block of the newer generations that came out right before the, the 7 and 7 Pro, it is still a win, folks. I'd recommend this device to a lot of people who want stock Android. It's just that simple. You can't go wrong with stock Android when you're dealing with Google. And if you want to step it up a little bit and you want, uh, I guess, technically a little bit better cameras, you want to go ahead and go straight to the 7 Pro. Because in my experience, the sevens cameras are good, but these kind of line up together because they don't have that telephoto lens and that macro, um, macro, the macro shots are really good. The cinematic video and everything is really good. But to me, I think those are things they can probably bring to this device in a software update. I really believe that they can. Uh, and I don't know if it's, because right now they only shoot in 1080p cinematic. So, uh, and I know, well, it has to be a 50 megapixel, I believe. So yeah, yeah, my bad. Nonetheless, there are apps that you can do cinematic video on, on Android, devones, Android devices if you don't have the capabilities. But correct me if I'm wrong, it would be nice if they can push it to a cine, push cinematic video to this device uh, through a software update. But you let me know if it's a hardware thing. So, um, but anyway, the 6A is definitely still a win. And I highly recommend it to people who want something great from Google, but just don't have the budget or you just don't want to spend the money to do it. It's all about you spending the money that you want to spend. And people can't tell you, how, you know, people love to tell you how to spend your money, don't they? They love to tell you how to spend your money. In the end, you make your own decisions. Use videos like this as just a crutch or a stepping stone to help guide you in the right direction. But you can't go wrong with either one of these. But if you want to get into the new school, definitely go with the 6A if you want to save some money. It is like the little giant, the baby flagship. It is a beautiful device and it's very small and compact too. So it's 6.1 inch display, but the body of it is definitely not as big as the 7 Pro. And it's just a hair smaller than the 7. So it's your man Jay, 6A follow up. Yes, it's still relevant. It'll always be I still have my 4A and my 5A, and I rotate all of these devices right here, these four over here, on my Google Fi line. Depending on what I'm doing, uh, depending on the occasion, depending on how I'm feeling, one of these is going to snatch my Google Fi line at any given moment. It's just that's just the way it is. So it's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. If you have a 6A right now, stand up in the comments and let me know how you feel about it. Are you happy that you bought it? Do you wish you had gotten a 7 or 7 Pro? Did you hold on to your 5A? Do you still have your 4A? Team Pixel, stand up. I want to talk to you in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.